Isn't she beautiful? Her name is Beatrice the Pure and she lives two villages over. She's marvelous. But right now she's going out with that dirty pig, Edmund the Strong. Just because he has a longer sword than I have. I'll tell you what, someday I'll raise enough shillings to buy a longer sword myself. And then she'll want to go out with me for sure. Mark my words, Brownie. Now, let's get out of this place. I've had enough here. Wait, wait. And then I said to him, 10 shillings? That's way too much for three sheep and two chickens. <laughs> Some peasants, I tell you. Wait, what's this here sign say? Look here, Brownie. The king is offering 50 shillings for the dragon's egg. With that many shillings, you could buy a longer sword and win over Beatrice's heart for sure. Brownie, you're right. Let's go, run away. <coughs> like you, nice and strong, to keep me all nice and safe and ready for the dragon. Brownie, here we are at the dragon's lair. I'm going to go in, but I want you to wait here. You've been a trusty Steve. and collect our reward. You're right, we shall. But actually, why don't just I go give the king the egg? He wouldn't want to talk to an old, feeble horse like yourself. I hope you understand. <laughs> My king, I present to you the dragon's egg. Dragon's egg, huh? This ain't no dragon's egg. What? This is dragon shit. A 
Guess these things won't well with the king. Not now, Brownie. I thought it was a dragon's egg. <laughs> Boy, go to dragon. This won't be the last of me. Sir Kim's gonna be back. <laughs>